Hey guys, it's Moonhorse. I'm here with a story, a wonderfully strange story from our friend Alpharius. This is called, and I'm scared, The Defiled Pineapple. Oh god. Hey guys, usual sorries because I'm on mobile. So today I'm going to tell you the greatest of all stories that I have. My infamous defiled pineapple. So to start, I was working for this bus company in their detailing department. Now we had an unwritten rule when checking for luggage. If you find food, if it's sealed, not expired, you can have it and eat it at your own discretion. This is pretty great because our company often bought box lunches that passengers leave on. I had most of my lunches off of those box lunches. Now the bus we had just got was taken for the weekend and used as a party bus by a local law office. So I'm looking under seats when I see it. There's a, there's a pineapple standing straight up under the seat. Okay, I pick it up and look at it when I notice the underside of this pineapple has a hole drilled right up in it. Okay, I've got latex gloves on, so... So I hold it and shine my flashlight in it. It's white. Not normal pineapple white, just white and sticky. Some motherfucker has defiled this pineapple. So I take it to the supervisor and ask him what to do with it, because now it is technically a biohazard. We're, we're not equipped for that. He said, cut it up, throw it down our drain as it goes directly into the sewage line. Okay, no problem. The wash bay goes directly to the sewers. I'm mopping up the bus when I, when I hear, Alfaria, stop! I'm confused, and he says, Listen, don't dump your bucket. That fucking pineapple just clogged the drain system. We had to call a plumber to come and unclog the drain system. But it hasn't just clogged a section. Oh, no, no. It clogged the whole fucking pipe. After almost $300 worth of unclogging, it was finally over. Or so we thought. For a week later, the drain reeked of pineapple. Weeks of pineapple hell. Because someone fucked a pineapple. So guys, that's the, uh, that's the pineapple story. I, I hope someone gets a kick out of it. <sighs> that raises so many questions. Who looks at a pineapple and goes, I need to put my dick in that? Why would you put your dick in a pineapple? What? I, uh, I can't. I can't. I just... What the fuck, dude? What the fuck? Oh, God. Oh, God. This is a short one, but... I As soon as I read the title, I was like, No, this gets made into an episode. I don't care how short it is. This was... This was magical. Thank you all. Mm. Thank you all for, uh... For listening to this. And, uh... I... <laughs> Who fucks a pineapple? I, I hope you enjoyed this as much as I did. This was uh, this was something. Thank you, Alfarius, for sharing the pineapple story. <laughs> oh shit. Uh if you'd like to submit your own crazy ass stories, you can send them to R slash Moonhorse Stories. I check it every day and I will see your very strange stories. Neckbeard or otherwise. If you'd like to contribute to this channel, I have a Patreon you can donate to, and I also sell t-shirts and shit. All of these things would be greatly... I was going to say welcome, but they're not... I mean, I'm doing that... I don't know what the fuck I was going with that. I just... The pineapple threw me off, okay? I need to end this episode. I'm going crazy. I love you all. Goodbye. <laughs>